Ik hoor het uitzien. Is it me? No. Alright, we're recording now. So, for those of you listening to me, nothing's missed. Um, we just need to... Yeah. What the hell are we doing? What the fuck are we doing? Alright. We just need to be done. Let's see. We just need to be done until we have to happen. Star Wars is going back to the portal, and he didn't actually see what's going on. Who's being like, fighting his ability, and it's about to get somewhere now. Come on. One second, I'm here. I don't know why I can't do that again. It's not easy. Yeah, maybe that one. Okay. So, Xanathar thugs. Yes. I want to know if anyone on the street is talking about where they were taken. Okay. Um. With a 19, it's, that's not even enough. They wouldn't be talking about that. Okay. Since you're asking for another thing, I'll, make you, I'll let you make another... One. I'll let you make another investigation check. Okay. Alright, to see that investigation go down, boys. Yeah. You need a DC 20. <laughs> no, Definitely not. Very close. There's no immediate super- word on the street just passing by that you hear people talking about him. Oh, I'm also going to keep my fucking hand on my coin pouch, because I know about these fucking thieves. Alright, and you make it back to the yawning portal eventually. Okay. Well, this was a roller coaster. <laughs> well, here it's we okay, are. That started. Still sending some messages. <laughs> oh man. I got notification. I got notification. I got notification. The fuck is it from? Oh, it's, Kill was it's, live. It's the boss saying I'm live. <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs> Glad wow, that the that one time the bot works. I have Brianna. to send some messages out because that's going to send to. Uh, Everyone. Yeah. Everywhere. That's fucked It's gonna up. send it to one big TV as well. <laughs> Oof. 
<laughs> okay, no, never mind. They fi they finally they finally removed me from the bot. We're good. Okay. Yeah, you're all here we go. All right, so you make it back to the Yawning Portal Tavern and you enter the tavern where everyone else is sitting and chilling and enjoying th activities. Can I go have sex with someone in the back? No. You're a there bird. are private rooms. Oh, I'm a bird. That doesn't mean I don't have a human dick. Do I need to? Do I need to have this discussion with? I need a um artist to render. Preferably not. <laughs> no, very much preferably. <laughs> like, okay, first I think we need to talk about, like, dragon dicks and vaginas, and then we'll work our way down the monster list. I but... don't think we need to talk about this. <laughs> I don't know if he's a curious cat. <laughs> I'm curious to know if he has a spike penis or if he's got, like, normal penis. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Anton <laughs> jumps out the nearest window. <laughs> you guys should be able to see the yawning portal now and everyone inside. Yeah. Yep. Ben, is your fog working? Or Kilbert, hit the fog. <laughs> hit the fog. <laughs> hit the fog. Um, one moment. I can uh, see everything. Some random person yeah. casts fog cloud. <laughs> Just give me a moment. It was me. <laughs> I, 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 I was about to say, dang it, Jared, but I figured I wouldn't throw you under the bus for once. Well, not throw you under the bus because it wasn't actually you. Hey, that's right. I put myself in the corner so that way I'm not on the fucking... Alright. I'm gonna take Anton and throw him in a dark corner. <laughs> I can't see anything. Wait. Just kidding. I can. Ish? What do you... What do your eyes see? <laughs> I can actually see um, what I see. I see a little bit here and a little bit there. <laughs> you should be seeing a lot above you and very little below you. Okay. Yeah, can you I see, see the there, tape. All right. Yeah. So you're you're there. good. Okay. Cool. Now zoom entirely in your character and zoom back out. Do you still see it? Uh, give me a second, having issue. No, but no, no. I can't load it if I'm. I sure do. I still see it. Cool. We're good then. What to get. Okay, Ben. There is an issue though, where if you put your outside of fog vision, like I currently am. It won't let you move your character back in. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't fixed that. I don't need control of Anton really. That's because I believe you've moved your character off the map entirely. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a moron. <laughs> Alright. You guys question the Agra. Um, you're in the tavern. What do you do? Um, I, I need to, like to have a drink. I need to go up there. Move yourself. I'm doing it. I'm up. I'm up All here. Right. Just do it. Boom. Talking to Gary. That is the wrong. No, I'm not talking to him. Want. I'm sneaking out here. I'm sneaking. I gotta sneak. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I'm going getting the a knife. knife with these I'm people. The knife. You're not gonna get the knife. <laughs> I'm going for the knife. Why? Because <laughs> I have some twenty. Dude, well, right. he knows where I am. <laughs> I'll make Stealthy him, boy. I'll make him roll a perception check. <laughs> to the DM, I don't want you to see it. <laughs> That's fine. Actually, if you rolled an eight, you're below his passive perception, so he knows you're there. <laughs> I am very poorly sneaking in after this knife. <laughs> It's like a tiptoe kind of thing where the ports speak every time I walk. You see him head over to the side of the table with a meat cleaver in hand. Oh boy. <laughs> like and looking at me inside? Or yes, like looking at you and he just mothers, if you take one more step, your tail's coming off. <laughs> Going back out. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> um, I will say, way out, you see a nice shiny cup that's not guarded by anything. Ooh, I need the cup. <laughs> and you, ta you take it on your way out. <laughs> okay, um... Anton orders a drink. Um, Anton, for nibs? Uh, yep, I will do that right now. Yeah, copper pieces. Yep. I, was having trouble remembering the currency, so I spent some time memorizing it. Wasn't the most successful, but it works. A bard comes in and sits down at an old-timey piano and begins to play. <laughs> Oh, have we heard people sing? Have I heard someone sing this bar? Can we do a history check for that? Yes. If I've heard a people man sing, sing all the time. Bar. Okay. A good singer. Can I remember a good singer? <laughs> that will require a history check. Hey. <laughs> nope. Nine. I think. <laughs> So I, like, attempt to sing and then realize I'm bad, so I, like, stop. Yeah, it's not necessarily bad, it's just very drunk singing. <laughs> <clears throat> so now y'all think our friend's drunk. Yeah. Your bird friend that's just a little bit on the tipsy side with his coin. You well, we didn't even way. see him drink anything. That's crazy. Hold on. I'm gonna lean in like this, where it's like, ha! SpongeBob meme. Hey, what's curious? This song is called Dear Old Girl. <laughs> I typed it. I'm sitting here, I, I, I just wanna watch the doors to see if anybody's suspicious comes in or out. You're in the yawning portal. Everybody's suspicious. Ideal. <laughs> but um, but but mainly I'm looking for the people with the eyes with the eye symbol. Okay. Um you have to roll. Nobody comes. Jalister? Um Was Jalister your ally? What, yep. Yes. Check to make sure. All right, yeah. All right, you approach lonely old <laughs> Jalister in the corner of the bar. Um, for anybody who's forgotten what he looks like, there he is. What a hun. He doesn't say anything as you um, sit down. He just keeps his drink at his mouth and keeps observing everything at the everything going around in the in the portal. Kind of nods in your direction as you sit down. Anything new? Oh, let me move Bonnie away. So she's not just standing in front of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, he kind of shrugs. He says, Bar is as drunk as usual. I'm just going to sit there and kind of just watch with him then. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> All right. DM quit. <laughs> Am I the only one that heard him say make make a roll for that, but like not actually? I need my cup for to roll you for Jalister. For it. <laughs> Hype. Continue. <laughs> All right, I just want to watch with him then. If he has nothing new, I don't want to. Yeah, this is my uh, D and D cup. <laughs> And every time I do Jalister for my IRL campaign, I'm holding the cup up to my mouth. <laughs> Just chugging root beer. <laughs> Alright, well, in, I guess, Duran's voice, I'm going, has Dur I assume Duran has yelled for Bonnie a lot, right? Oh yeah, all the time. Oh yeah, so then in Duran's voice, but like hella muffled, I'm going to yell for Bonnie. And then in someone else's voice, just some random fucker, I'm going to yell for uh, Ale. <laughs> uh, she comes over, hands a glass to you, uh, shows her hand out for the price, uh, which you know as four nibs. Yep. Plus we're friends. And then when she gives me my drink, I'm gonna look at her as I take it, 
and then in some child's voice say news. <laughs> but it comes out like news. I, I know what you guys are going for, so just roll investigation check. <laughs> All of us? Uh death and sorrow. Or and in sorrow. Neither is high enough. Everyone else can roll too, I guess. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We've got two more. Nope. Ice. <laughs> and no. <laughs> so good. That's a. Well, those are some bad. I wonder why we're not gonna get things. <laughs> that is that is so unfortunate. <laughs> We are um, the best detectives. I'm sitting here looking at the door and like I just zone out. Oh wait. Um I know where we well, I would know where all of the clerics are, right? The clerical things, because of my street knowledge. There's clerics everywhere. They're in their temples. <laughs> no, I mean I would know where the nearest cleric temple is. Um, we can check the map for it. Uh, can you there post is the a map in the chat so I can look at it as well without having to pull it up. Yeah. up. I'll just pull it up here. There's no reason to have the Yanni portal up, anyways. Uh, there is a temple right above you guys, the Temple of the Seldarine. Time for me to figure out what god they worship. <laughs> Where is that? I don't see it on the map. It's right above the awning portal. Underneath the UR here sign? Oh no, it's higher up. Oh. Above the Hawkman. Yeah. If you want more one more towards the dock wards, there's the Helm's Hall below you. In the southern ward. Let's see. Let's see those men were unconscious. Do you, um, can I roll a history check for knowing the uh, which gods those places worship? Or would I just know that? Uh, do, do, do. That would be a religion check. Alright. I'm okay. And a quick Google search from the DM. A nine. I don't think I'm going to know. Give me a moment. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> you aren't prepared for us to wisen up. Uh, it is the te it's a temple to Helm, <laughs> which is apparently wow. the god's name. The god of. All right, he's also called the Watcher. He is a. Uh, the God of Guardians, Protection, and Protectors. Also known as the Vigilant One and the Great Guard. And he's lawful neutral. He definitely, they definitely would have taken him there then. Versus the Temple of Celadrain. Or is that a separate old religion check? Temple of the Celadrain? Um, oh, and that's for that one. If they're, they're two separate. Which ward is that one in? Castle ward? Castle ward. And a nice city that has all of them in one place. And it's naturally it's not listed. <sighs> what do you Sorry. mean it's not listed? Alright. I have no clue. <laughs> There's oh, priests wow. there. <laughs> I imagine... Okay, it's an elvish temple. So it's probably to the it's probably to the elven uh, god Corlin Lorithian. Okay. Who so is? They wouldn't be taking any of them. They'd be taken all the way up to the hospice. In the good part of town. No, I mean, who knows? I know. 
they probably wouldn't have gone that far. <laughs> Who knows? That I is. Who knows? I would hope the DM. Moves. That would be dragging an unconscious man for three hours. Yeah. That's why I'm like, that's that's too far. Um, the Temple of Celadrin is the closest one, but they're elves. They might not necessarily like them that much. And then Helm. I don't know Helm. But that's God of also Guardians protectors. So I think that they would have gone somewhere close by with their own clerics. I will reiterate. The castle of water deep. No, I will reiterate yeah, just thanks. for um, progression's sake, and this is the last time I'll say it. Money moves deep in water deep. If you want information, money will get you a lot. I mean, they did mention the sewers. Yeah, so I'm going to. Uh, we should probably go to the next step. We should do so. I'm drinking, sitting with, with with some people. I'm gonna ask them. Uh, hey, do you uh, do you know, or have you heard about what went down at the? Uh... Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Um. Don't bring up. Uh, uh, do you know? Uh, did you hear about what went down? At the, I wrote it down. Hold on. <laughs> Did you hear about what, at down? The, uh, yeah, I went down. I'm Are you okay, that, boy? At that one place. I wish you, wish you could. Have you ever, I wish you could ever. Hey, Darden, <laughs> get this one of water. <laughs> hey, water is brought down. to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna slide over there, uh, not... uh, a little gold piece and ask him what he does. What, what's, what's up? How much did you give him? Um... A dragon. Uh, yeah, I forgot what it's called. Hold on. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. A dragon. I'm gonna give him a dragon. One? One. Okay. Uh... <laughs> did you ask him to just sit down and slide the dragon over to him? <laughs> <laughs> Will he understand what I mean if I well I guess I'm friends with him. I'm just gonna slide it over. Oh, to Jalister. Yeah. Okay. So you give Jalister a dragon. Did you Is he not gonna tell me anything? Did you ask him anything? Yes, I asked him before and then he just kinda like grunted, so I just I wanna slide the gold over now and see if that changes his mind. <laughs> He doesn't know what you want. <laughs> Fine. All that child um, mentality. Fuck. Aha! Is there anything to find we can Sorry. do? I'm gonna slide the gold over. There, or dragon over. There we go. What was your question? Is there anything fun around town you've heard about? Let me roll an insight. For Jalister. Let's find his character sheet first. Alright, Jalister, let's roll an insight, buddy. Okay. Okay. He he looks at you and squints his eyes a bit over his drink. And just kind of looks out to the bar. Looks back. He says, "They went to the dock ward." <laughs> Just keeps drinking. All right, noted. Meanwhile, I remembered that it's the warehouse on Candle Lane. <laughs> Are you That's still talking all. to the guy after getting your water? <laughs> uh, ah, the warehouse on Candle Lane. That's it. Did you hear about what happened there? Something happened there. Keep in mind, it's only been like a couple of hours. I don't know, but I've heard some people mention it in the place as I walk around town. You Anyways, know, you clearly did not walk around town. <laughs> clear, clearly, I've had to. I'll, I'll just keep to my water. <laughs> says, All right, son. All right, son. You take it easy. Right, I'm just gonna gather everybody up and tell them that we should. Guys, let's go to the dock one. 
just I'm gonna shake my the head whole open. thing. <laughs> We're in the dock war. We're in the dock war. The docks. <laughs> Probably uh just the whole thing. <laughs> just wander. You guys have leads that will point you in the right direction. Well, the where is our Tabaxi spokesperson when we need him? I mean, I don't know what to say. What to yeah, do. I'm just kind of floundering right now. Because oh, shit. I'm just kind of lost after the fire. My so. idea is to go for the, um... Sewer. Angry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Angry, can you repeat the two words you said a little bit earlier? The sewer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I have been right in saying that over and over again. Oh yeah, again. didn't the bird say something about a... Uh, yeah, they did say something about a sewer. Not, she didn't say anything about Wait, follow the yellow sewer, signs. The well, let's just go to the sewers, guys. Do we know where the sewers are? I Probably do. There's, in the there's, dock sewer plates, there's sewer plates everywhere. <laughs> well, what I know of an entrance that's not having a strop onto a pile of shit. I mean, there's manhole covers the everywhere. Is. I don't know what other entrance you're looking for. <laughs> he wants an elevator. <laughs> yeah, I want like a padded <laughs> elevator that feeds me bonbons and grapes as we go down into the store Yo, on a why are we over the shit? Hell yeah, there's one in Castle Waterdeep. <laughs> Let's go. What made you think about sewers out of curiosity? I feel like I'm a little... Actually, you know what? No, don't tell me. Because my character also feels left behind. So this will help me be in character. After several hours of walking around, you guys eventually enter the sewers. <laughs> there are manhole covers everywhere. It shouldn't be hours. We should just drop down into one. Yeah, it's Wait, hours of you guys looking. bumbling around doing either. nothing. <laughs> A putrid stream flows along this sewer tunnel, which leads in two directions. In one direction, you see a tiny symbol drawn... In, on the wall in yellow chalk, a palm-sized <coughs> circle with ten spokes radiating out from its circumference. There is no oh, light. Is Wait. that a thieves' camp? No, it's the sign of oh, the no. Xanathar. <laughs> well, it's dark <coughs> as fuck. Could somebody, uh, could somebody make like... my uh, my axe shine nothing. again? If someone says fire. I swear to God. I'm... I could do fire. No. No. Hey, no, no more fire. No, no more fire. It worked really well last time. It did not work really well. At this point. All right, um... just to kick Hangry off the island. <sighs> I know. just on you, it's not oh. an island. Okay, I'm just going to say toss, toss. <laughs> you want me to toss some fire? No, no I'm going to point from Hangry. Because he's a tiny little halfling to the sludge river. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I would like to bend down to uh, Anne and say, uh, "Hey, uh, c sorry, you're you're like smaller, right? Yes. You're like little. Okay. Um, he would he would like to bend down and say, like, uh, sorry to ask, but like, could you could could you light up my axe? Okay, I'm on to it." Boop, your light axe up. Lights up. Okay. Nice. Hi. Your axe lights Hi. up. Hi. Score. Your light Hi. axe Hi. is up. Your light axe is up. Do I need to axe do that again? <laughs> My blight wax is up. All the right, let's go. Just in that Are we supposed to be seeing them? All right, Um. so you said one way has the symbol on it and one way doesn't? Well... The Kenku talked about yellow signs. We well, oh, I mean, that. it makes sense that we follow the way that the symbol has. Didn't, uh, didn't the bird say something about uh, yellow marks in the yeah, sewers? We should probably follow the sign. Or something? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going this way. All right. You follow the signs, and it, you would make a left at the sign. You come into another fork where there's a sign on the right. You take a right, and you follow this trend for about eight more turns in different directions. Um, Wait. Can I look back? Is there a marking on the other way? Like, so we know how to get back? No. Yo, I'm lost as fuck. Damn. Alright. I mean, we're in the uh, sewer, we can just climb up the manhole. After an hour of following signs through the tunnels, 
You come to a... We can turn off this music. <laughs> you come to a three-way intersection where a ladder leads up into a stone shaft capped by a circular metal cover. One of the familiar chalk symbols is marked on a, on a wall nearby, and floating near the symbol is a spherical grapefruit-sized creature with a bulging central eye and four stumpy little eye stalks. It bears its teeth at you. Roll for initiative. Hey. Oh. Uh, is this like a <laughs> mini game? Something other than the map? Spectre. It'd be a really easy to roll initiative if we could see our characters. Yeah. Our oh, yeah, that's right. I can roll your initiative <laughs> for you. There's no map to look at. And we don't even Ball really scale. have to bother about rolling, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna kill us anyway. I can show no, you. Uh, this is the thing you guys see. Oh, but it's tiny. Ooh, it's, like the, it's like the size of your head. That's not <laughs> oh, it's so me. Cute. What? <laughs> it's so cute. I'm sorry. Did you just say it's cute? What, what did, did you show her something <laughs> so different? <cute>. It's no. <laughs> There's your initiives, yay. I already rolled initiative. I rolled also, new initiative. It doesn't matter, it won't last oh. very long. You you got a one. <laughs> Oof. Alright. Alexa, um, play Despacito! No, Jared, stop! <laughs> She's doing it. She's fucking... it. Okay. There oh, we go. Oh, sorry. Anton's initiative is now apparently 13. <laughs> what? I don't know. That's the Gazer's initiative. Anton, go. <laughs> All right. Um, I would like to walk up and smack it with my axe. You do so. Roll for an attack. Uh, slash R, D, uh, D, D, 20 plus... Um, fuck. Um, D20 plus. Uh, that's right. You don't have the. Are you raging? 10. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. 10 does not Bro. hit. Next person. Sorrow. Boom. 10 does not hit. Next person. And. I'm gonna use my little thingy. What is it called? Ray of sickness. Roll Ray of sickness. Okay. Um, I believe you'd make an attack roll with that. You gotta make a Constitution saving throw, but yes. Fuck. You gotta hit first for the Concentration saving throw. All right. Wow, we're all just getting tens. I'm so confused. 10 Why plus your spell casting modifier of plus 5, which will hit. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so we'll roll a constitution. It rolled a 15 on constitution. So it actually passed and it doesn't get poisoned for the next turn, so I get a 2d8. Yep. Yeah, come, on, come on, there we go. Jesus. All right, noted. It Five points of damage. Up. It is bloody. <laughs> Ooh, rip. It is now the gazer's turn. All right. My enemy is bad, so it's gonna on, fire. Should... It's gonna fire a ray at Cade and a ray at Anne. I need to roll two d four to determine ray. Turn. Three and a four. Okay. Cade, you have the three. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as a blue ray flies out from the third eye towards you. Boom. You're good. You managed to dodge it. Um, you see behind you where the ray hits, uh, frost gathers along the side of the wall. Uh, rather, uh, very quickly. Alarmingly quickly. All right. There we go. Um... Ray 4 went to Anne. Anne, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Fuck. 
why, why did it not? Did it not? Oh my god! Ooh. I'm not a strong one. Okay. Right. And the purple ray flies towards you. Um, it sticks onto your body like a tractor beam and lifts you in the air, and throws you into Anton. <laughs> Anton, make a strength saving throw. These. Hopefully. Catch me! <laughs> 21? Okay. Uh, Anton catches you. You guys aren't pushed, but each of you takes six points of bludgeoning damage. Not bad. Six? Six. Fuck! I'm down. The <laughs> 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 corpse of this little girl! And is <laughs> unconscious. Guys, this is a trivial combat. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Dusk, it's your turn. Please just hit the thing. Yes, please just hit the thing. 18 hits. Roll for damage. Nine. You smack it across the head of, the, of with the quarter snap. It smashes into the wall with your quarter staff and squishes like a bug. It is dead. Combat is over. Bad eyeball. Bad. <laughs> It you slumps right, to the ground, lady? defeated. I'm so squishy! <laughs> you guys notice that the eyeball looks very similar to the one that is stuffed in Jablob's shop. Well, who's gonna make some uh, some medicine checks? I don't trust myself to do this. I'll do. I'll I'm do my okay. okay. Go ahead and roll. Okay, <clears throat> Wait, can, can anybody hear oh. Rip. Wait, Death, how did you go down? Don't you have... Do you only have six hit points? No, I had five out of my eight because I didn't heal all the way. Okay. Okay. I'll make sure to reflect that on your character and your health bar in game. All right. Seven will not save her. Would anyone else like to try? Uh, I'll give as, an attempt. As Sorrow loosely wraps bandages around her forehead. <laughs> she attempt. looks fine. That's better. <laughs> there we go. Dusk manages to stabilize her. She's walking that kind of pushed her out of the way. I would like to continue carrying the, li the little lady. Wait, the, okay. the kitty saved me. Yay! <laughs> you are unconscious, Put your unconscious and don't see it. Alright, um... Uh, <laughs> You guys are the first people to actually take damage from a gazer. Yeah. <laughs> In many of my sure. games. Would have preferred to Probably have not missed. One, yeah. one of them died due to the gazer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys then... Um, so there's two paths in front of you. There is one where it's in the sewage, oh. and then there's a tunnel going further, and there's a ladder that goes up. So there's the one with the mark on it. The uh, I put away my great axe and pull out my lance because that's a one-handed weapon. Your lance is two-handed. And... I mean, I thought it would be, but it doesn't say it is. It definitely says it is. I can read it for you right here. Lance. Oh, also, a lance requires two hands to wield when you aren't mounted. Got it. Yep. In that case, I'll pull out... Is a light crossbow a thing? Is that two? That is. Two-handed. I'll just set her down when it comes to combat. <laughs> <laughs> or you could have her right on your shoulders, and you can still hold your axe. Do you but not have a javelin? Conscious. Just tie some rope around me and drag me, for fuck's sake. Sure, this sure. Through there. They're about to oh. walk through sewage. <laughs> hey, oh, I'm not oh, about that ladder. Oh, I'm choosing the ladder. <laughs> like, you climb the ladder? my back. Yeah, I'm choosing to stealth or attempt work? to stealth climb up the ladder. Okay, roll a stealth check. Actually, don't bother. There's nothing to stealth from. Um, oh, well, I want to see what I get. You climb up the ladder and uh, push open the metal grate at the end, and you find you're in a very dark room. Do you have any lights on you? I just talked my axe up. Underneath of us. Yeah, there's I enough light. light there's enough light underneath to see. Uh, you can see uh, rows and rows of bottles. And there's no one in the room? There's nobody you can see. 
Uh, I'm going to listen to see if I can hear anyone around me. Roll a perception check. <laughs> uh, you don't hear anybody. You do hear music uh, coming from the ceiling. Okay. I'm going to quietly get out and inspect the bottle. All right. You inspect the bottle. Uh, roll an investigation check. It's going to be alcohol. And I'm going to fail to check that it's alcohol. No. <laughs> it is. It has a label on it called the Sprouting Fish. Uh, you recognize this as a tavern in the dock ward. Um, and you recognize uh, that this is uh, red wine. I'm going to put it in my pouch. And then climb back down the ladder. How many? Just one. Okay. You grab a bottle of red wine, um, put it in your pouch. You can add that to your inventory as just bottle of red wine. <laughs> huh? Or add it as fine red wine. Because you rolled high enough to get the fine wine. Um, so there's two more places, right? So one up one, what are the other two? There's one other place, the one and it is a tunnel in the sewage, the path that you guys has ended, the path you guys have been walking on has ended, and now it's just a tunnel um, in the sewage, but the tunnel continues onwards. The yellow mark is above the tunnel. Well, let's go. Oh. I would like to stealth ahead so that I am not stuck in And I go. How far? Um, um, well, first up. I'd like to go to the yellow mark. <laughs> and like, just like, hold the axe up and see if it's. Wait, is light is light concentration based? No. Okay. And just like, hold it up and see if I can see anything. Uh, but because she went unconscious, your light does go out. Dang it. Okay. Um. Hmm. Does anybody? Actually, no. That spell doesn't work that way. Your light stays. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, um, I will mention yeah. this. This tunnel is only big enough for you guys to be in a single file line. Got it. Okay. I would like then to. Stop. I'll say. Well, I'll. Uh, I'll lead the charge. Um, I'm gonna just go. say no in a like deep, booming but quiet voice. <laughs> deep, deep, booming, and booming quiet. And quiet. <laughs> like. No. Fine. And why not? I'm gonna point to the cat. The one is kind of like sneaking forward. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna move you guys not? to the map now. Put this your characters in. To the put cat. your characters in the order that they are supposed to be in. <laughs> not the barbarian first. I will not be in front then. Anton's up front. Oh, wait, so I should be with Anton, right? Because he's dragging me? Yeah, hold on. I'm on the... Okay, there we go. It's this... It's... Yeah, if you're holding the girl, I don't think you should be up front. I guess I'm up... Wait, so where is the front? Is this the front? Sorry, are we coming from here or from the here? Show is the front. <laughs> <laughs> this is the front. Okay. Are we just that walking into the, the whiteness? <laughs> I don't know. I was curious. Come on, Ben. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm very tight. Um, so, Dusk, uh, did did you actually go first? Yeah. You're carrying an unconscious. You're the strongest one, so you're carrying the little girl. Yeah. So you're not up front. You're in the middle. Okay, fair. I'm up front because I have a super high AC. Yo, hold up. Hey, Mijo, can you say something? Hello. Can you guys hear hear Mijo? Yep. Yeah. God damn, I haven't heard Mijo this entire time. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> Come on. That explains why you've always been speaking over him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Now I'm I can't sorry, hear Mijo. Mijo. I, I can't hear you right now. So I need to watch my profanity. Yeah, can't hear Mijo anymore. 
Hey, me, Joe. You can't? Oh, no. I heard that one. I wasn't talking. Me, um, Joe? <laughs> that explains hey. it. Well, I wasn't talking. When Kiki me, did. Joe? I'm talking, talking to right now, you. He is talking, Ben. Technical difficulty night. Why does... Do you have Mijo muted? Everything hate Mijo. <laughs> that is the question to be asking. When did you, you have Mijo muted you instead of yourself? The, I mean, I've heard him before. <laughs> <laughs> Mijo. Yeah, I oh! In fact heard me zero before. percent volume. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. That would do it. Oh, Maybe it's from last time that you said it to zero percent volume. Oh yeah, because <laughs> you was so loud. Okay. All right, moving okay. on. I'm... Okay. Hey. Okay. Um, are you guys just gonna continue to drag Anne, or are you just gonna? <laughs> you can wait a short Jeez, rest I'm... and she'll wake oh, up. Yes, I'm... <laughs> I'm holding her on my shoulders. Thank you very much. That's probably the best idea. Yeah. I take a short rest, then I wait and drop this. I'm just kind of shown here, like. <laughs> nah, let's let's actually right. take a short, short rest. I feel like you guys be wait a short rest before entering the tunnel, and Anna and not Anna, Anne wakes up with one hit point. Nice. Can I actually use one one of my hit hit dice for this? Aren't you at full no. health? No, he took six damage. Oh, that's right, he did. You can use your hit dice. All right. Nice. Beautiful. You add your constitution modifier to that. Oh, that is nice, actually. So that's actually a four. Yeah. Um, for those who don't know, when you roll hit dice for short rest, you add your constitution modifier, and you add it for every time you roll another hit dice. Alright. That'll become more important when you're not level one. <laughs> so who is all short right now? Who's who's the shortest people here? Me. I'm the shortest. I'm definitely the shortest. Oh wait, he is the shortest. I was gonna say I'm like four foot. But... Well, I guess these are like two and a half. How deep is the sewage? Yeah, I'm four I didn't realize how short. It's um ankle length. Okay. So nice. chest height for him. <laughs> <laughs> Help, I'm drowning. <laughs> Ankle length. <laughs> Which means... For those of you who are shorter, it probably goes up to your knees. For those of you who are taller, it probably doesn't even get very far past your boots. In at right. ankle deep, but might not even. What? What? What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing important. Let's go. All right, yeah. you guys move forward. Uh, and do you want to heal at all? I don't really have a way to heal. Hit die. Short rest. You don't have cure wounds. No. I was not given the no option. No healer. Until second level. You're a cleric. Cure wounds is first I, level. I was trying to find it and I could not find it. Let me look at it. I think it's because I chose well. death domain. That's why I got spared the dying. No, nope. death domain can gets I it. Hear myself. All clerics get cure wounds. Because if I had the option, I would have. I can see it right here. Cure wounds. Well, why wouldn't it fucking pop up then? I mean, right now you don't have any prepared spells. <laughs> yeah, you, you haven't think... picked any. You haven't picked any spells. I've got multiple spells. You have your cantrips. You haven't picked any spells. Wait, what? I picked them before and they're gone! <laughs> I'm so confused now. Just pick fucking four spells and we can move on. Right. <laughs> I advise Cure Wounds as one of them. <laughs> Cure Wounds is going to be one of them. 
All right. Um, I assume you are gonna want to sneak, Mijo, and I'll I'll go up with you and sneak. Yeah, I'm sneaking. Okay. So we'll be our team scouting partner. Okay. Here's how my far? Stole. How far ahead of the group do you guys want to go? Uh, ten foot. Yeah. Okay. Oh damn, Mijo, we're good. All right. I need. <laughs> Let me look. Alright. As you head forward... This is not the right kind of music I'm going for. I go for tents. I want spooky sewer music. Okay, so I, I have two you, options here. I can give you spooky sewer music. It might be spooky. Sometimes it's spooky, sometimes it's not. I think that's a spooky one. Alright. So, you guys move further along. I'm just gonna drag you several feet. <laughs> Eventually, you reach the main sewer tunnel expands into a circular hub with a pair of arrow slits carved into its outer walls directly across from each other. Two passages continue on to the north and south. A stone door is set into the back wall of a stone ledge to the west. Alright. I would like nice. to walk forward and perception. Yeah. See what's going on. Look for enemies kind of thing. I was going to roll a okay. perception. See if I hear anything from the slits. You uh, look around. There's nothing in sight. Um, you can make a perception oh, check. Oh. oh shit. Twenty four. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You uh. Holy shit. Fuck. You're the second party to find this. <laughs> <laughs> the other party found it passively. <laughs> I was, what? I was so pissed. <laughs> what the fuck is their passive perception? It was 18. Serious? <laughs> like, what? Right. <coughs> you, um, you sneak around and you notice in the arrow slits, um, you see and hear the snoring of sleeping goblins. Okay. Um, um. You creep forward along this way and you notice that um, one of the walls over here is a little bit more discolored than the others. Discolored, like, older or more used? Different. Like it's a okay. door. Uh, discolored yeah. in a way that it looks different from the walls next to it. <laughs> what more do you want from me? <laughs> Can I, like... Way for these guys in back to hang out. Motion Sarah to come with. Yeah, they will need to make stealth checks. The people in back will have to. Just kind of oh dear. Oh, that's not a spell. No, that's I'm not, not making a stealth at all. I'm making a fucking heal. <laughs> that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. <laughs> so I only healed four health points. You have a plus three to your constitution, you only have eight. Alright, so Mijo and I are gonna sneak forward, and the rest of the party stay, because Mijo, you're telling them to stay with your hand. Oh, I'm like motion sorry. Hands. I sh shouldn't have rolled then. I'm gonna turn around and do the same. So that way they get the picture. I'm okay. sitting still very quietly. Hello? Yeah. Hi, me too. Okay. So we good? Waiting yeah. What, what? what? I was waiting for. Yeah. If he's not uh, moving, girl. Yeah. So let's All right. go. I just move this guard wall stealthily. Up Where here, is it, right? Mijo? You gotta take me to it, Mijo. You gotta follow me. 
By the way, you can. An alternative way to move your characters, if you click your character, you can use the arrow keys to move them around as well. What? Wait, what? Whoa. Whoa. Alright, cool. That's so. Oh, but it's down here. It's down there? Okay, sorry, take me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What are, are we all doing? coming or no? What? No! no. The whole point was you guys no. were supposed to stay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Keys. <laughs> Ash, Ash, you have been cutting out quite a bit for me, I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> I'm going to point at the discolored wall and have Sarah inspect. Okay, so I will inspect it. Roll a perception check. Perception or investigation to inspect the wall? Inspecting, uh, investigation. Okay. It's pleasant, because I'm a good at you. Is Mija really cutting out for it? For can I assist? 18. Doesn't matter. 18. Okay. Um, I mean, you see what he saw. You see the wall is discolored. Um, you also notice there are very... They're very hard to see, but there are cracks along the side of it. In a uniform, rectangular shape. Okay. I don't see, like, a handle or anything that's obvious, no. so... Um, I will take out my dagger and put it in the crack on the right side or left side and try and pry it open. Uh, it resists. Okay. I will now hand my dagger to Dusk and motion for him to do the same. I will do the same. But on his side, the right side. Yeah. Uh, as you try to push the dagger into the crack on the right side, the wall just kind of pushes forward. Oh. And a door opens. I will hand the dagger back and sneak in. Alright, let's go. A moment. You see before you a small hallway, an arrow slit on the left, and a door. Closed door ahead of you. Um... We should probably get people to help us. Um, but they won't gonna... stealth that well through the goblin infested cave. Hey, I rolled an 18. I'm going to motion to my thieves thieves tools and then point at the door. I will make room for you to get back. Let's just swap spots. Okay. And right, now I'm going to slide a pan the door open. Uh, you recognize the door is not locked. Oh, cool. I will open the door then. And motion for dust to pass me in the hallway. The door opens up, and before you, you see... Give me a moment. What area is this? Q11. Alright. In the middle of this otherwise empty room is a stone pillar carved with a small symbol. A perfect circle with ten equi ten spokes radiating outward from its circumference. In the middle of this circle is a small indentation that bears a passing resemblance to a lidless eye. We should probably take out the goblin and get our party because this is the entrance yeah. to their base. There's only one goblin over here, though. There has to be another entrance to that other goblin. Yeah, I think... Well, I can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see a door. Yeah, the normal door. Yeah. Okay. So let's go take out this goblin first. So move on. Okay. Door unlocked. Yes. Well, we move up <laughs> and quietly, quietly take out this. Okay. Yeah, two oh, no. people. Here's what we'll do, okay? Mijo, come here. <laughs> this goblin's so fucked. <laughs> do we have to roll initiative for this or no? This is a surprise round. Surprise. Okay, yeah. Mijo. If you wanna go first, and then I'll finish him off. Yeah. You see the. Goblin is just sleeping on a stool, a short bow sitting in his lap. Okay, quarterstaff strike. Uh, roll with advantage. Yeah, he's... It also automatically crits if you hit. Yeah, I hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So roll for crit. How do I do that with this? Is it just hit double? Uh, do I don't actually know. Right. So it's 1d8 plus 4, so... You don't Seven. add your multiplier to the second one, so you just roll another d8, right? 
Yeah, it's supposed to be a way to make it roll a crit. Whatever. I guess it'll one. only roll it. It'll only roll it if you roll a nat twenty. Um, so twelve okay, points Steve. of damage. <laughs> Unarmed strike. You you take your quarter staff. You don't whack him with it. You br <laughs> slowly bring it around his head, and hold it up to his neck as he uh, quickly comes to life and starts choking against it. As you slowly um, drain the life out of him. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Just right. one hit <laughs> That's one goblin dead. So now we go back down the hallway to the door. Yep. <laughs> Let's repeat. Uh, the rest of you could hear the slow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is the store unlocked? Uh, yes. You push it open. Give me a moment. System's being a little slow to respond. That's fine. I have we no are... idea what's going on. <laughs> you just hear choking sounds in the darkness after he told you to sit still. <laughs> You're like, I know that sound a lot. Uh, I'm gonna refresh my game real quick. Right. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. This is going so much better than it did for the other party. <laughs> Dude, it's so much better than the Kenku encounter. When we actually sit back and think and roll good. I mean, this is literally <laughs> the opposite of the Kenku encounter. <laughs> the Kenku really don't is. have to drop on you guys, you have to drop on them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know why? Cause, cause, cause the bruiser right, is back in. still. Okay. You see an open door in front of you that leads to a hallway. Okay. Let's go. So I have a plus three to dexterity for some reason. And there's that arrow slit. I'm going to slowly push the door open. Alright. Um... You push the door open, and you see, um, you see to your left a large room that has several rusted weapons and, um, threadbare clothing littered across the floor, as if it's some core sort of coat room and armory. Okay. And to my right, is that door? Or a hallway? Yeah. Okay. And you see the sleeping... Goblin. Alrighty then. Okay. Same thing, but this time I'll hit it first. This one's your kill. <laughs> All you have to do is hit your sneak attack, we'll kill it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially because I get my sneak so, attack bonus on it. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Roll crit for your weapon and then crit with sneak attack. So you get to roll an yeah, extra roll d f extra d6 and 2d6 on top of that for sneak attack. <laughs> I think this goblin is dead. <laughs> uh, Dusk, yours took a little while to get the life out of him. <laughs> Sorrow just quickly takes his short sword, kind of does a twirl with it, and then just slashes it across the goblin's head and the head just falls to the ground. <laughs> just a clean, look. just a clean cut, and he just sheaves it right back. Just kind of give him a look, kind of pat him on the shoulder, like, "Oh boy." <laughs> I'm gonna like hear? nod my head, like, "Yeah, all right." Because he just did what <laughs> double, twenty twenty two ish damage to a goblin that had seven HP. <laughs> I did twenty damage exactly. <laughs> all right. That is so three I'm, times its total health. I'm gonna like motion us down back to that armory area and like make a ruffle sound with my mouth very quietly, like ruffle through the clothing in the armor. Yeah, so you have to do it right. I mean, investigation check. Can we both do this, or is it only one only person? one person can loot? The other can aid, oh, yeah. which means I you give aid. the. Okay, so sorrow, you roll with advantage. Twelve. Twelve. You find a single copper piece. <laughs> right, I'll, 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 I'll like flick it to dusk. Ooh, shiny pocket it. It's hey, not actually I'll... shiny because there's no light. Oh, right. I still pocket it. 
Ooh, dull. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll go back to the party. Now that we successfully played D&D without Hello. them. Hello? <laughs> My family's home. All right, the rest of the party sees as your two um, friends appear. Um, there is a little bit of blood on... <laughs> there's a little slash, oh, like a very faint blood across Sorrow's mask. <laughs> but other than that, they're completely spotless, except for the swords <laughs> on their boots. Look at them. All right, we got them. Let's go. All right, well done. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> please, don't let go. Please. <laughs> Alright, All which right. way are we going? Up or down? Let's investigate up first. Alright, let's go investigate up first, I guess. I don't know. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Uh, you see right. that tunnel moves on out of the area. Okay, let's go down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. Doesn't seem to go anywhere, guys. We're all using the arrow keys now. Just <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I see down? I can see down this little hole. Can I see anything? Uh, um, what area is that? I don't think that? so. I don't know, but there's a little hole. Okay, give me a moment. What is this way? All right. Uh, you see a narrow passage between the stone bricks that heads into some kind of storage area on the other side. Ooh. Is it wide enough for a halfling? <laughs> it's wide enough for a small creature to fit through. All right, I'm gonna halfling. like step to the side and a, bow down and motion to it to the halfling. A medium creature can fit through, um, but it's it's gonna be tight. Nope, halfling, it's all you. I wanna go. All right, let's go for you it. Could also go. I wanna stealth through there. I roll stealth check with disadvantage because it's a really tiny tunnel. Seventeen. Okay. Jesus. All right, you sneak through the tunnel. I'm gonna pop you on the other side. I did not realize we had three stealthy characters. I'm just gonna shit. poop you on the oh, other side. Don't move your character around yet. I mean, not too bad. That's terrible. You oh, see God. before you. Um. Hold on. Uh, you hear music coming from above, and it's like very cheery, happy music. You can see before you several um, barrels of supplies and stuff. Um, there's a barrel full of spices, there's a barrel full of salt, uh, etc. Uh, Guess okay. what? It's the perfect time to cast Bonfire. Don't! <laughs> <laughs> There's Please just... don't kill us all. <laughs> That's it. Just barrels. Barrels and crates and stairs. Or you oh, can't see the stairs because you can't see shit. Yeah, because I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't actually see anything. You see darkness. Uh, well, I have a torch. <laughs> Are you going to light, light my torch? Okay. You light your torch up. I'm going to. 40, 20. Bam. Hey, I can see into the room now. As the torch goes up, you hear a noise. You hear someone go, huh? <laughs> and a, a figure steps out. You see a lycanthropic form of a walking rat come up with a short a, uh, scimitar in hand. And he says, who the hell are you? Deception. Oh, uh, I'm gonna from the tunnel. Do I know a goblin voice? Yeah. I mean, it's not speaking right. goblin. <laughs> I know, but can I roll history for a goblin voice? Because I can make a goblin Wait. voice. Wait. Uh, where would you have ever heard a goblin? Um, I want to cast allergy, which is um, the manifest a minor wonder thing. And. Okay. Um, I'm gonna attempt to scare him. I'm gonna make it like whisper behind him, like yeah. What? Okay, but where's your character? I just like chilling, like right here. Like, space 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 you can't be in the same space as somebody else. I'm not. <laughs> Isn't he standing over there? 
Okay, so you're in the tunnel? Yeah. Okay. Great. I would have needed to know that for a stealth check. I already rolled the stealth check. I said I was going in. All right, but I didn't ask for this. I have to confirm this stuff with you. You can't just roll. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Thaumaturgy? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm attempting to scare him. So I'll just like whisper or hide in your worst nightmare to see if he... Well, that's, that's convenient because he's attempting to do the same thing to you guys. <laughs> uh, roll a uh, intimidation. I guess. Yeah, intimidation effect. I'm gonna like motion to dust to like go down. The I intimidated him. <laughs> we'll see. Because he has to contest it and he has advantage on his roll. For reasons I can't tell you about. <laughs> but it's a not 20. It's a were rat. Okay. Were rats are what? This is. He says, oh, jeez, come on. I don't want to mess with any spooky shit. Just just leave. Why are you here? Uh, <laughs> it's when he says, I like the spice in your life, and then throws the torch at the spices in his <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You're a halfling like me, and he reverts um, into a halfling form. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And he says, just, what, what What do you want? Why are, why are you here? Um, I'm, I'm kind of new here. Krentz sent me to pick up the money. <laughs> Roll of deception. <laughs> what name did you use? Boy. What name Krentz. did you use? Krentz. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He says, oh, you're, you're Krentz, mate. Okay. He takes a gold pouch, a pouch of coins out of his back pocket and tosses it to you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> now go. Tell Krentz not to gamble anymore. Right. <laughs> Have a good day, too. <laughs> and you sneak back through the tunnel. Uh, you check yeah. the gold pouch. It has 50 <clears throat> gold pieces in it. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> that was a good move. Wait, you would used... that have happened if I hadn't intimidated him? I mean, if you had intimidated, he was going... I mean, his whole goal was to intimidate anybody else out of the place. I'm going to the rim. <laughs> what is that? That was his goal. And so, getting you guys to leave by any circumstance is a win for him. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to go back in. I, I want to see what's up. <laughs> All right, guys. I mean, I don't, but <laughs> there was like a rat thing in there. Uh, yeah. he's, he's gonna leave us alone. Kate, I think. Kate comes back out of the tunnel with a uh, gold pouch in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> uh, did we just keep learn going. anything? Uh, what are they up to? Uh, they're giving me gold. <laughs> Who were they? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't question people who give you free gold, man. You must be new here. <laughs> What do you guys do? All right, I guess we leave. What's down the rest of this tunnel here? <laughs> Nothing. It goes to the rest Nothing. of the sewer. That's oh, there was on the map. Those stairs. <laughs> there were stairs. Yeah. And you didn't follow the them? Stairs. I mean, there's also a rat halfling. Oh, Def isn't bloody anymore. We can take that. I mean, over. he'd be gone by now, right? I'm just gonna say, gone now. I don't know. He's probably still there. I'm just gonna say, why? Okay. 
I mean, I think he, I think he's the guard or something. I'm just gonna like shrug and then like make stepping sounds with my feet, like we're walking up the stairs, but quietly. Probably right. Uh, All right, then I guess we go back through. Why did you come back? I thought we would keep going down this tunnel. No, oh, there's another tunnel behind us. I He can't move through other people. Oh, past the door. Wait, I'm going to motion to the that way. door that we opened, and I'm going to point to it and then make walking motions on my hand. Just like you said. What is he pointing to? The door that's right next to you, wide open, that we left open. The hidden door. This one? Ben, you need to be literally blocking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll go through this door then. Yep. Go. This one, Let's right go. here. Mm-hmm. Oh, you see a bunch of open doors that head into a big environment. Within this big room, you see a pillar in the middle of the room that has a Xanathar eye, and it has an indigenous like, closed yeah, lid. Alright. Um, I would like to inspect the statue. Um, on this, clothes. on this side over here, um, on this side of the wall, you do see there is an archway, but there's a stone back to it. You also see two closed doors, or three closed doors, technically. Can I inspect the closed eye of Xanthar? You can. It is a closed eye. It's an oh. invitation to stone. What are you looking for? Just see if there's anything hidden about it. Um, roll like an investigation. A hidden button, preferably, or a switch or something. There's nothing. Oh. Rip. <laughs> um. I'm gonna go to this door down here. Is it unlocked? Yes. Okay. Open the door, you see... Hold on. It's actually kind of tough opening doors. <laughs> you see a room with rusty manacles um, bolted to the wall, as well as straw bed pallets on the floor. Okay. Seems to be some sort of living quarters. Anton would like to try to open this door. You see the same thing. Nice. All right, and this is the archway. Are these doors? The archway is right here. The archway right? is on this back wall. Those are just doors. Okay. Uh, I um, would like to see if I can hear anything behind me. Uh, roll a perception check. <clears throat> I hear shit. Okay, you um, oh. you hear muffled sounds from. Are we it. also playing Mario Kart as a Wii for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put my finger to the the bill of my mask like a shift motion. Thinking that I'm just gonna be really. What are we supposed to be? Um, that's out of character. And then I would like to stealthily open this door. Roll stealth check. Oh, no way! <laughs> I like that. Oof. Oof. You okay. Slam that door. Uh, are you trying to like? <laughs> How are you trying to open the door? I'm trying to push it open a little bit to where I can look inside or have others look inside without it making noise. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I'm a sliding to, door. <laughs> I'm trying to... It's, it's an open door. Right? I'm trying to crack the door. I'm trying to peep. I'm trying to act like a peeping Tom where I yeah. crack the door open a little Cracking bit. Cracking the door. Yes, that's what that's called. <laughs> and I... Can I now I'm confused. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Keep, keep going. Eh. 
I'll have to treat it like a sliding door because it's not really going to work otherwise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to get rid of the door. <laughs> you creak open the door, and as you do, you immediately see a figure on the inside look towards you, look towards the door. Like, what was that? Um, you do get a brief glimpse before it closes, or before you do, you have a chance to react. You see a, um, a man with wavy red blonde hair, or, yeah, wavy r red blonde hair, um, very bloody and beaten. I need to actually give him the bloody tag. Flume Blackmar is bloody. <laughs> Alright, well, what I'm gonna do see, is... Um... You see standing ab above him, um, a fire... A ball of fire in his hand, a half orc. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn to the party and whisper, wavy the what Volfamp said to us, Molo, what Volo said to us, wavy red blonde hair, dress nice, not smart. Well, if he's in there, then what are we waiting? And by the time you look back at the door, you see he has opened, and the half oak, uh, half orc is looking like, well, well, well. <clears throat> so we got some intruders. And he shoves the doors open and roll initiative. Oh, I All was right. going to say, as a reaction, can I stab him? Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, baby. One. Uh, I did it wrong. I think I crashed roll 20 by trying to click a... Can you just you refresh? Hey, I rolled... KB, should I do it right, or does that... Does I'm gonna go ahead and put Flume in the order. You gotta do it with your, uh... Yeah, if you click your character, you'll see a macro pop in the top left corner. See? That's even better. There's a lot of people in this initiative. There are so just our party and two more. Or, try or so we think. <laughs> try four more. <laughs> okay. All right, Sorrow, you are up first as the doors have slammed open. Who's drawn on the map? <laughs> All right, here we go. Short sword attack. He is a space away from you currently. Oh yeah, that's right. He's a five foot away. Um. Step forward and down like that, and now I will make a short sword attack. Okay. Pull the short sword. That Speaking hits. Roll hit. for damage. Okay. Uh, you do not get sneak attack on this. I know I do not get sneak attack. Five. Five points of piercing. You stab Group Shard the in the gut. <laughs> he doesn't seem happy about it. He's bloody already. Um. What a nerd. You guys were supposed. And then as my bonus action, can I use my dagger as offhand weapon attack? You can. Okay. Yeah, you guys Is were supposed just... to go through an entire dungeon before reaching this point. <laughs> So, um, what do you mean? <laughs> it means you're, supposed, setup, you're not so supposed to be all at full, full health. <laughs> That's why he's not very <laughs> tanky. <laughs> you know what? I appreciate that. Please roll the attack. attack. Yes, I'm saying is the macro set to do offhand? Normal? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. 11 hits. <laughs> All we have to do is take the bonus damage away. It's not that hard. Four points of damage, which was his exact health. Do you want it lethal or non-lethal? Uh, non-lethal. Palm will smack him. All right. Quick shank in the gut and then flip the dagger and whack him in the head. Uh, Groom Shark falls to the ground, <laughs> unconscious. The flame that was in his hand dies away. Dusk. Unless Sorrow has more movement I would he wants like to do. Nope, I'm staying right here. You do hear of when you knock him oh. out, uh, you hear a voice. Uh, you all hear it echo out in your minds. Within your mind, you hear a voice echo out. 
It looks like we have some company. Of course, it's a gale. <laughs> <laughs> and continue. Dusk, it's yeah. your turn. I'm going to move into the room. Oh, right. is that a mind flip? Yes, I'm going to go. So, move down uh, to kill the mind flip. So, seated on a raised platform to the south is a nightmarish figure wearing black robes. It has large white eyes and rubbery purple skin with four tentacles encircling its inhuman mouth. It cradles and gently caresses what looks like a disembodied brain with feet. And you're gonna run up to Is it that and you, punch Gandalf? it. <laughs> I am gonna run up to it and punch it multiple. Just, that's what it looks like. Oh, it's Rocket right. Ralph. You can roll your attack, buddy. And uh, this is the thing it's carrying. Oh, that's oh, actually kind of so cute. cute. Where can I get one? <laughs> that's actually <laughs> cute. So I'm, I'm gonna. They hit him or it and be like, yeah. I want my friend or his whenever friend. Whenever you whenever you fucking feel like rolling. <laughs> That's, oh, a crit. That's a crit. However. No, yeah, that works. That part will come later. And then roll the additional 15 damage. 15 points of damage. Okay. Then on arms. Try. Close, Ash. That hits. Seven points. All right. There we go. Uh, Groomshar's turn. He makes a death saving throw. <laughs> I'm very worried now because that was 23 points of damage. 21 points, two points of damage. Groupshar succeeded in his first death saving throw. Hey! <laughs> Anton. Alright, I'm gonna run up to him also. Uh, run up from the other side. Um, I'm, I'm gonna start raging. Okay. And I'm going to attack the bur Roll an attack. With my raging great X. I moral that with that number. That hits, roll for damage. For eight, eight slashing points damage. of slashing damage. I need to actually I didn't check if these guys have any resistances. He you slash across it with your great axe, and you notice there's more resistance than you would expect, and it only does four slashing damage. Oh, heck, dude. As well as... Yeah. There we go. Nice. And it's not bloody yet? Nope. Oh, no. Neither are... All right, that is my turn. I'm more worried about okay. this big, not big bloody. Cade. Uh, hmm. I will move here. Yeah, there is a bloody civilian on the floor that everyone has neglected. <laughs> well, we're not neglecting him. We're saving the. He's fine, probably. He's not dead. It's a little bloody yet. Yet. In saving throws? No. I will cast Chaos Bolt. Okay. And On who? Um. Um. The Mind Flayer. Okay. And I'll use my Wild Magic Surge to have advantage. Okay. Now. You can use that after the attack roll. I can. But it yeah, means okay, your first I'll... attack roll, you won't roll with advantage because you can't know what the other number is. Wait, what? Roll a normal attack, and then you can determine if you want to roll it again. Okay. Yeah. I want to roll it again. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so use Tides of Chaos. Yep. 
Not much better. Uh, I also need you to roll a d20 to see if you trigger. All right. No. We're good. 13 does not hit. You fire uh, your bolt of chaos at the Mind Flayer. Um, it turns towards you, and you feel, as you're channeling the spell, you feel a sharp pain in the back of your mind, and you fire it a little too high. As it looks at you, and you hear in your mind echo. Save that for somebody else. All right, it's the mind oh, flayer. Oh, the one with that voice. Yes. <laughs> it turns back to dusk and it says, "You seem awfully strong. I could use that." Oh no! Please don't. <laughs> uh oh. All right. So I need to look at its abilities again, as it casts dominate if monster. To, if you have to make a constant saving. Good. Hey, Dusk, I need you to make an intelligent saving throw. Okay. Oh, shit. Not much better. Actually, let me check Dominate Monster. That might not be right. One moment. I think it's Constitution. It's not Constitution. Oh, good. I, can, okay. I guarantee you it's not Constitution. Nice. I think it's a Wisdom. Let me check, though. Uh, wisdom saving throw. 21. Oh, boy. oh, you feel the um, voices, sharp voices in your mind telling you to save the, save Nihilor, attack your friends. Um, but you're able to shift them off as it doesn't take effect. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. That was its. Wait. Yeah, okay. It then begins to float. <laughs> hey! Hey, oh, hey never get mind. down from there! It can't float, never mind. It jumps off the <laughs> pedestal onto the ground. <laughs> we'll say it shifts to the stairs, that's, that's better. Um, Anton, it does leave your range if you want your opportunity attack. I would love an opportunity Normal roll. Bam! Oh. Holy crap. Got him. Roll. Oh, Jesus Christ. The opposite I, of day one. I don't have vicious crits yet, so it doesn't But it's so it's it's only an eighteen. <laughs> only. It's only eighteen. <laughs> a mere eighteen. I mean, it's not the 22 uh, freaking Birdman did. Gosh. You guys are not supposed to kill this character. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, like from a roleplay standpoint or from a story? No. no, this is a challenge rating 7. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Mind Flayer is challenge rating 7. <laughs> Oh shit, that's right, there's more enemies here. What about the small boy? And it is your turn. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We're gonna walk in here yeah. and just fuck. <laughs> Actually, it can, it can one hit most of you in its next attack. <laughs> Which you are now forced to use as it was going to run away. <laughs> but it'll use that on its next turn. Oh, I have 25. Hey. Alright, so I can't move that far. You can stand on top of Groomshar because he's prone. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's on top of Well, I'm going to use my fucking Toll the Dead. Okay. So. A uh, wisdom saving throw. On what? He has to take wisdom saving throw. The mind flare. On what? <laughs> yeah, mind flare. It's 
Sorry. I feel Wisdom like small white brain throw. Good. That is a 19. No effect. Yeah, he passed and I don't do anything. And that was my action, so I guess turn. Alright, Intellect Devour. That's right, it's called an Intellect Devour. It's a fun little yeah, toy. I, God, 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 I think it's thing. called Small Boy Brain Man. Can't convince <laughs> me otherwise. It attacks Anton. Yes. Let's see. Please don't hurt me too much, Small Boy Brain Anton, I, I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. Oh dear, I'm not very good at this. I Actually, it plus one. first... First it attacks you, and then you'll make your intelligence saving throw. Mm -hmm. Alright. So first, um... It rolls a 9. Not gonna hit. Yeah. So now you make your intelligence saving throw. So it's good. Ooh! No! <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Okay, you're oh, not gonna God. like this. You I guarantee you're you not know. gonna like this. You take 9 points of psychic damage. Also, small boy your brain intelligence man. score is reduced by 11. Permanently? What is your current intelligence? 12. 12? Okay. So, oh my goodness. You are so lucky your intelligence is 12, otherwise, you would have gone catatonic. <laughs> you literally just like ground. cruel start to pour out of his mouth. Yeah. You watch, or uh, you feel your intelligence leave your body as you can no longer speak. You can no longer communicate. You can, you have been under the effects of what is essentially a feeble mind. Uh, you are in primal savage mode. You are a oh. caveman. All right. So yeah, that's that. It's Floon's turn. <laughs> who crawls away. That's Floon's turn. Sorrow. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> I will step up. Oh man. Uh, did you take the damage, Anton? Uh, I did, yes. All of it? Is that much health? I have three hit points left. All right, let's reflect yeah, that on the in-game characters, people. <laughs> oh, in-game characters, got it. So, okay, I've been keeping does, track on roll 20. Does 17 hit him? Yes. You do get sneak attack. Oh, yes, I do. You oh, also need to roll with advantage, so roll another one. We'll see if you crit. Wait, I get an advantage? Yeah. Dusk is on the flanking. other side. You're flanking. Oh, I fucking forgot about oh. flanking. Nope. No. All right. So you did five points of piercing. You need to roll the sneak attack. Yep. Rolling it now. Six. Six. Nice. Nice. All right. And Anything then I'm going to offhand a dagger. Is Go that ahead. also a or not? It's flanking. Advantage. Eighteen. Boom. Roll for damage. Boom. One. One. It's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Dusk. Uh, advantage, right? Yes. Yep. And Let's go, buddy. We're gonna kill it. For your hopes, you better hope you kill it. <laughs> Six points of damage. Okay. Oh, oh that's oh. great. Twelve. Twelve. It is not dead. Come on, Anton. No, we. It is yeah, I don't think I can fight this. Shit. It is. It is not doing good though. Grimshaw is gonna make his second death saving throw as a fail. <laughs> I'm gonna motion for Ian the heal. Anton! I just sit down, right? Or do I try to just kill everything? Or You are a caveman. Try to kill everything. Build a thing in front of you. You could still vaguely recognize what is ally and what is enemy, but you can no longer speak. 
All right. Um. Like, do I like? Would it be fine if I tried to attack this? Like, I'm sorry. Would that be? Would Would I be smart enough to attack the mind? Yes. I mean, you, you know how to attack things. Okay, um, cool. I'll do that then. Are you jumping off the stairs, or are you walking backwards and moving around? Um, I'm gonna try to jump off the stairs. Make a strength, athletics check. If you fail this, the intellect devourer is gonna get it hidden. Oh dear. You're good. You jump over the stairs okay. and land. Now there is stairs in the way, so she's gonna have half cover from this attack. I am fine with that. All right. Go ahead and make your attack. Uh, how do I calculate? Never mind. I'll just do do a normal roll. That hits. Her AC was 18 right, with half cover. Oh, I'm boy. sorry. Does that say 17? Yep. <laughs> She had one hit point. Hero max damn. Anton, yeah, no. how would you like to do this? I'm probably just like, with my, like, not even bending my arm, but like, with my arm just, just, just like, fully stretched out, just like, try to just like, thunk it. I feel like that's about how smart I am right now. Just try to thunk it real good. <laughs> I'm not sure how to <laughs> imagine that. Um, okay. Like an uh, overhand one hit onto the head. Yes. Yeah. Anton's brows, after being with the intellect of our Anton's brows have like scrunched in more. Uh, he's squinting a lot more. He's kind of arched backed. He's begun frothing at the mouth a bit uh, from his rage. And he, he just quickly looks over, leaps over the stairs and on the way down, I guess just completely vertical arm. <laughs> so you're talking about... Yep. <laughs> yes, that is, like, that is it. That is it. Drops the axe on top. On, on top <laughs> of the mind flayer, who is completely obliterated by it, um, <laughs> and falls defeated. Good so job, killing the small boy brain man. <laughs> you see, as the mind flayer <laughs> falls, it drops, um, a stone orb about three inches in diameter. That looks like an eyeball. Nice. And that's your turn. Holy shit, guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys just killed. You guys just killed one of Xanathar's commanders. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm not sure if that. that's good. I don't think that's uh, good, guys. I am gonna go grab that orb we're still in combat remember yeah i know <laughs> still grabbing it and then i will use magic missile on the brain thing all right i'm triggering your wild search all right all right as you prepare the spell to cast um it uh it gets stuck on the end of your fingers for me like huh you like shake it a bit, and eventually you you just do one big shake, and it comes out along with it. Um, you all notice as illusory butterflies and flower petals flutter in the air within ten feet of Cade. <laughs> Party! As magic missiles come out and swing towards, I imagine the intellect devourer. Yes. All right. Roll three d four plus three, I believe. Yep. Yes. Uh, okay. 14. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it didn't like that. It did not like <laughs> that. <laughs> Good lord, and, dude. Small boy and, brain man, happy. <laughs> we are hitting hard tonight. <laughs> Jesus. You guys and your single target damage. <laughs> Sometimes the dice roll in your favor. Sometimes. All right, guys, and there's a very injured walking brain. You're stabilizing Groomshar. Yeah. Okay. What? Are you using a spell for it? Or do you want to make a medicine check? 
I'm just using my um spare the dying. Oh, okay, so he's just automatically stabilized. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm gonna right. use um heal on Anton, so I'm gonna cure wounds. Okay, go ahead and roll for that, and move over to Anton. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, good heal. Anton, you're getting 10 hit points. Hold on. I've right. Let me like figure out how to do like this. That for myself. Boom. Boom. Perfect. I did it. I'm so proud. Oh. You, okay. You guys didn't see that, but it was a big thumbs up. As you're healing him, you watch as an as a brain climbs up on the stairs, jumps over on top of Anton, and makes the claw attack against him. Jesus! I freaking, just feel that. It freaking doesn't tiny hit. boy brain man. But Anton, I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. Not another one. Since your intelligence is one, you have minus four to this. Nope. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Catatonic state, here we come, boys. Well, first you fall unconscious from 17 points of psychic damage. Oh my goodness. What you hit? Okay, hold stuff. on. Jesus. And you also <laughs> lose six points of intelligence. Okay, I'm now in the negative hit points and yeah. intelligence. So you are unconscious and catatonic. All right, boys, let's go. Tiny boy brain man stole my brain. We don't even know that either. We just gotta. <laughs> yeah. So Anton is catatonic. Um, the intellect devourer is on top of him. Floon Blackmar crawls away. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna stay with his protector. He doesn't know that's what you guys are. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I, I meant to say oh, something, turn. but then I got done. Yell to Floon. My name is Volo. Okay. In Volo's voice. He looks confused. Try and calm him down. <laughs> uh, make a persuasion check. He looks extremely confused and kind of terrified of this tiny creature claiming to be Volothamp Gadarm. I'm not tiny. I'm five foot four. Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fucking halfling next to me. I'm not tiny. <laughs> And then he seems I awfully that, confused. I assume that was a fucking action without an action using up action. I'll count that as a bonus action. So you kind of just yelled it behind you. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to strike at the thingy on top of Antoine. Okay. Short sword. Uh, this is not flanking, correct? Uh, it is flanking. It's flanking I'm just because there's giving. Like devour uh, half because you're trying to be careful not to hit Anton as well. Okay. That's all right. Boom. That hits. Seven. Okay. Roll for I damage. Will roll for damage, and then I get to apply my sneak attack. The sneak attack Five is what's. <sighs> He's not dead. Oh. He's at one hit point because he has resistance oh. to um, physical attacks. If only I hadn't shouted to Floon, I would have been able to kill him. All right, Dusk. My turn. You want to punch a brain? We're here to help you. Don't rush. And then I punch a brain. <laughs> 16 will hit. Dead Zo. Dusk punches the brain, it flattens into the little bits of pieces. But unconscious. Uh oh. Yeah. I didn't get my intelligence back. 
Well, you don't know yet. You're unconscious. Good point. Good point. Well, let's end. Go we'll help Flu and, and, and Anton. We need help. We need healing. That is combat. Um, Actually, it's not combat because Anton's making death saves. Yeah. Um, Everyone, try and stabilize Anton. Grimshar is stabilized. Oh, I mean, Anton, oh, death saving throw. Yes, it's He's rolling the dice. Okay. That not, is a not fail. Failure. Cade? Does death have spare the dying? Yes, I do. That's what I'm saying. Wait, so I have the orb now, right? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm just curious where this goes um, with Cade going before Anne. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh, good. Good point. Was that all? And then I'm going to look at the orb and then just like examine it and completely ignore everyone else. The orb. Yes. Roll an insight. Twelve. It looks like the exact same size as the indentation of the pillar. All right. I will walk over towards the pillar. Wait, don't do that yet. All right, we are now out of initiative. What are you doing? Uh, and stabilizes to Anton. I'm going to move the intellect of hour out of the ways. <laughs> I is that still the want final one? Brain man, though. Negative three. Is that what he finally got you down to? You said uh, the second hit gave it minus four. Yeah. Because I was at one, and then I lost. No, well, you're just considered at zero, really. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, because you can't steal an in in intelligence that isn't there. All right, I'm going to go to Floon. I assume he's tied up, right? Um, sort of, not really. <laughs> he's more just of just fucking. He's more of just incredibly beaten. You see scratch marks, marks, cut marks, burn marks. It seems like he's been tortured. Okay, I'm going to gently offer him my hand, like put it out like you would a dog for him to grab on if he wants to. Uh, he's shakingly um, it's first shakingly, and then, like, the moment his hand gets close to you, his whole body just lurches forward and just, like, bear hugs, and he's like, Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> I'll, like, pat his back, and then say thank you in his voice back to him, but it sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> and there's a nice bonding session there. As you guys have found, Floon Blagmar. All right. We shouldn't have killed that man. Woman, actually. I mean, we have a prisoner to interrogate. And he's very intimidated when he makes up, so we just kill the commander. <laughs> do you guys know how Renown works? Renown? Renown? Yeah. Is it like every, in a real every faction? Or every faction in D&D &D has Renown. There are different ranks at 1, 3, 10... 25, 50, and in the guild boss. You guys just defeated a 25 and a 50. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Tiny boy brain man. Was he the real master? Yeah, he was actually the 75. I like how the party just defeated like a super fucking badass like character. And we and got it, stumped like, by fuck. Ken Kim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it's just fucked by that little... If you guys hadn't killed Nihilor when you did... If you guys hadn't killed Nihilor when you did, her next attack would have been Mind Blast against four of you, which would have done at least 22 damage to each of you. Ooh. And so that's if you make the... Like yeah. <laughs> and that, that's if you make the save. Boy, I'm sure glad that I chose to take... and jump off the stairs. <laughs> that could very easily become a total party wipe. TPK. Also, if I had rage, 
last time, I wouldn't have been able to read. So, uh, Dusk, from your That's current plus, position, you notice that um, there is a small wooden chest behind the stone throne that Nihilor was on. Ooh, I grab it immediately. There's shiny stuff, maybe. You open this it up and idea. you see. For me to loot. You open it up and it's not trapped. <laughs> It opens yeah, I, up. I, you find you find two bottles with um. Hold on. Wine. You find two bottles with a red glimmering liquid inside of them. Um. You what, find. What they are? are you ready to write them? To, actually, I'm just gonna write it down for you. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of that. Still not as much as uh and the two bottles got from uh, convincing that guy. And the two bottles of red liquid. Sixteen. I'm check those. Yeah, I'm gonna arcana check those. Go ahead and make an arcana check. These are potions of healing. Yo, why am I the 13 is supposed to be at zero? Yeah, I should probably. Oh, I'm gonna give one Anton real quick. Alright. You've pushed the potion down his throat. I need you to roll 2d4 plus 2. Someone is reflecting their TV. That's me. Hey guys, can, can you turn the. Volume down a little bit, a little bit. All right, Anton, you gain five HP. You are still catatonic. Can I? I'm gonna like unembrace from Floon. Walk over to the brain because I saw the brain attack him and then him go brain dead. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna put some of the brain in his mouth and force him to eat it. Why? Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, okay, okay. The brain took it away from him. So therefore, the logical conclusion would be he has to adjust the brain in order to gain the brain's knowledge back into his head. Through you know his what? stomach. My character's into it. Anton is forced to eat an alien creature. <laughs> Anton, you gain one hit point. You are still catatonic. Oh. Hey, you got a hit point out of me. Hey, I, I wish I gained it instead of lost it. Of myself. Uh. So can I just add some brain to my inventory? You can add mind devour flesh. <laughs> yeah. Do I uh? Do I gotta make a new character? No. <laughs> okay. We just you. gotta take you to a cleric, bud. Yeah. All right, Kate I'm gonna. Is Kate is going to put the eye on the pillar. If we end this session and, and your character is not revived, we will generate a new character, a temporary character. Got it. All right, what did Kate do? Put the eye on the pillar. All right. You hold it up to the pillar, into the indentation, and a flash of light fills the room as you see... One moment. As you see, the arch against the south wall uh, glows bright, and you see uh, beyond it a stone passageway that continues onward. Seems to be some sort of portal. The eye does not stay in the pillar. So the eye is now on the ground again? Or in his hand? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to put my hand on Kate's shoulder, point to the portal, and shake my head lightly and then point back to all the fucking unconscious and wounded people in the room behind us <laughs> and then nod my head what in a very like disgustingly trampy nurse voice I'm going to say need some aid <laughs> I'm not going to tell you where I got that voice from, 
But it comes off as, need some aid. And point back to the passed out people. <laughs> Shit. Uh, um, okay. That's... Okay. How That's do you feel thing. about that? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Kate is just going to, uh, like, as you're looking at him, his eyes just roll back in his head and he passes out. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Does he have a, no, hold on, wait. Does he have a little nosebleed? Good timing. Uh, do you? <laughs> uh, That's no. You, Damn. No, no, bleed. What? Okay, um... Out of character, I have no idea what's going on. There are hey, two great. potions, right? Hey, That's you're, you are a master of terrible timing. <laughs> <laughs> Dust found two potions, right? Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna... First, I'm gonna search the fucking body of this mind flare. You, you find nothing... Actually, let me check if... You gotta find if something not. on it. I gotta reward you for killing this thing. <laughs> if not, can I have his cloak? Like, is that just something I can have? The Mind Flare cloak? Yeah. I mean... And it'll have special properties like plus one AC? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one moment. You want me to roll? If it gave plus one AC, we wouldn't have won that fight. You find 115 gold pieces. Hey, I'm gonna pocket that. <laughs> 118, oh, you said, or 115? 115. Holy shit! I cannot believe we killed this. Um, I'm gonna. You and me both. <laughs> point, I'm gonna point to the potion dusk has, and I'm gonna point to Floon, and I'm gonna attempt to pick up. Anton. All right. Um, we help pick. We help you are Anton. going to pick up Anton. Let's check your carry weight. <laughs> you can pick up a maximum of. You can push Dragon Lift two hundred forty pounds. Uh, how do you? How much do you weigh, Anton? Uh, last time I clarified that I weighed two two thirty. And that's before. Or after your actual items are added? That's after my items are added. No, okay, so that is before. Sorry. Before. Okay. Yeah, you can't lift Yes. Them. You can lift okay. it. No, yeah. You just can't lift them. Okay. <laughs> what about this this man? Okay, I fail that. What about the dude I fucking knocked out after stabbing him in the gut? Yeah, he's, can I lift him? he's actually awfully light, and you can drag him at okay. five feet per turn. But we don't have turn, so, I'll so you take can drink. him. I'm gonna point to the little girl to grab the little midget man that decided he wanted to pass out after hearing my sultry nurse voice, which is very concerning. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna... why he passed out. Like that is not. the reason confirmed. Kate has been defeated. <laughs> okay. Kate is Kate is dead. Good fight, Kate. Already got a second Good character. Good fight, role. guys. And then I'm going to motion for Dust to grab Antoine, but give the potion to Floon. Like, point at the red potion, point at Floon. Point at Dust, point at Antoine. I want to take the little <laughs> ball that he had, and I want to just, like, see if there's anything else, like, any inscription or any rune. It's just a stone eyeball. It's a Rubik's ball. Well, I guess I'll put it in my pocket while I... All right, uh, bro, carrying him, you do notice he has a book with him. A book? A book. What What does the book say? Like, what, what's on the cover? You ain't sorrow. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought it was me. Yeah. Oh. Um, I would like to investigate the book. What's the book say? It has nothing written on it. Is a leather-bound book, um, 
You open up and look inside it, and you see arcane um, inscriptions and notes in it. It seems to be his spell book. Can I... I assume I wouldn't know any of the spells or what they do. You can make an arcana check. I want to be a magey boy. <laughs> that was... I was saying in my head the DC's 15, and you got it. <laughs> um, following spells... Hands, disguise self, false life, shield, things, and. Okay. He was disguised as a half orc. No, he yeah. was a half orc. Oh. Oh, okay. He's surprisingly light, though. He's so, not wearing anything except robes. Alright. I'm gonna pocket his spell book. <laughs> okay. You can add, um, add it into your inventory as first level spell book. All right. Is anybody friends with Obaya? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, the passed out dude is. All right, um, Cade. For future purposes, you know that Obaya um, buys um, magic items, including spell books, for very good prices. All right. Fucking being beyond broken. It's not letting me add anything to my character. So I'm just kind of add it to other possessions right now until that fixes. Alright. So. Then, I'm going to... As Dusk, have you given the potion to Flume yet? Did you understand what I meant? Do I need to do a performance check? Yeah, I assume I'll give it to him. Oh shit. I just realized this was an even more deadly encounter. Because Renair Never Ember was supposed to be with you guys. I forgot to add him. <laughs> He's the equivalent. He's the equivalent of a level three character. <laughs> level three, bro. Boy. We deserve a level up for this shit. <laughs> you won't get one. <laughs> the milestone, yo. I feel like killing the general's a milestone. Okay. <laughs> Not when you're in an official supplement. All right. So I guess I'll drag this so, man. Actually. I can give it to you. I mean, you'll get it because you've found Floon. Yeah, you've completed the quest. Floon. That was we'll, a milestone. We'll pretend it's for killing the general. <laughs> we'll do that later because you have to actually f turn in the quest. Well, I'm going to drag this guy. Dust gave Floon the potion. I'm going to... Floon, come help me drag my friend here. He helps. Um, He I has a strength... He has a strength of 10. So you're doing most of the work. That's fine. I also, I was so we're doing this together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have, a very much a you have a strength of eight. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. This Let's is a see. Together. <laughs> How much can you carry? Um, you can carry a max of 240. So yeah, with Flute's help, you can carry him. Let's go. All right. You guys can't carry him, but you can drag him. You can drag him <laughs> along the sewer. Alright, so that's gonna be fun to get him through a manhole. It's gonna be a group effort. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Is, th is this fucking stairs over here? Mm, stairs are going downwards. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, that goes back to where we were, though, doesn't it? Or no? It, it goes somewhere. Okay, well, I'm gonna investigate this side room. Okay, uh, give me a moment. I'm gonna drag Kate into this room, that way everybody's under, like, one... Right. Uh... Hold on, Sorrow. Give me a moment. I need to know your passive perception. My passive perception? You're good. Alright. Um, you can passively pick up. This room seems empty. Um, but you can see there is a loose flagstone along one of the walls covering a tunnel. Okay, I would like to pry, pry out the flagstone with my dagger and okay. remove it to open up the tunnel. You do so. There is a tunnel headed forward. Give me a moment. Dynamic lighting. Activate. 
come on. Oh, dude, this is so cool. I don't know if I can handle it. You guys stay over there. It's too cool down here. All right. Um, I have a torch. I'd like to strike You take torch, but... two points of psychic damage from your aneurysm. <laughs> don't test me. <laughs> I'm bloody. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And you can see there's a tunnel for you to head forward. Oh, well, I'm going to light a torch for my inventory. Okay. Lighting torches becomes so much more important when everyone doesn't have dark vision. <laughs> Don't worry, that problem will be fixed for me eventually. Oh shit, that got bright. Yeah, with my torch. All right, where's this tunnel, Killbud? I don't see a tunnel. You can see an empty space in front of you that would normally be unavailable. That's your tunnel. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back. And, right, and gonna, then at the other side of the tunnel, you see there are wooden boards, um, boarding up something. Actually, yeah. Okay. I will. I will grab my dude and start dragging him towards the end of the tunnel, saying, follow, follow. But it comes out, follow, follow. Aren't we going to take them to aid? Yes. All right. Come on, Kate. <laughs> what the ass. fuck was that? <laughs> Seriously, that. Dude, I've, I've been around some fucked up people, okay? Let's oh. go ahead and drag people out. Kate, you, you have tunnel. your KD you of your Tides of Chaos back. Right. I will pry off the boards at the end of this one. You break off the boards. I need to move your character sheets or your characters so I can break off the boards. Do I recognize <laughs> the mask that um, he's wearing? That who's wearing? That um, Sorrow's wearing. What's over? It's a Plague Doctor's mask. So well, I common. recognize it as a Plague Doctor, then. Yes. Yeah. 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 Alright, then... As a healer, why don't you just heal them? I'm gonna shake my head and point to my dagger. Which is still a little bloody. <laughs> Very bloody. <laughs> yeah. Alright. All right. I well, guess that's fair. As you break through to the other side... And trample around the uh, um, hometown brewery of uh, a fam family of halflings that are very surprised about you guys breaking down their wall. They're like, "Oh, good lord!" Um, they look towards you like kind of panicked, um, but they see you're carrying bodies. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hold up a finger. And I'm gonna like quickly run back. How much does that face face hugger do weigh? <laughs> What? <laughs> How much does the uh fuck what the brain? Boy brain man? Brain. The mind Not flare? the brain. The mind, mind flare. flare. That's what it is. I'm gonna drag the mind flare's corpse up. Okay. You drag the corpse of an alien up into the home of the halflings. Yep, and I'm gonna throw it at their feet, and I'm gonna point to all of our weapons except ends. Roll a <laughs> persuasion, <laughs> or roll a general oh. charisma. It's okay, the people love me. Oh shit, can I even roll? Oh, there it is. I guess I just pulled as a zero. Count as a normal one and got to. Oh! The father seems wary. Everybody else, ev all the other um, halflings are just squealing, screaming, and begging for you not to kill them. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them 12 gold pieces for us tearing down their wall. Okay. They kind of, the father kind of just, like, holds them off to the side, and, uh, just, uh, he kind of just, like, points at the door, he says, uh, you can leave that way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drag our, my unconscious dude up, I'm leaving the mind, mind player's body. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna, I wanna cut off one of his tentacles, trophy. That's okay. what I wanna do. You have an octopus tentacle. Mind flare tentacle, but it's pretty much an octopus tentacle. 
All right. Yes. All right. All right. And you guys escape the sewers out of the private house of the Peabodies. <laughs> Oof, feels bad for them, man. Well, let's say. I'm just gonna like squat down to the kids and just. First like, things first, let's get out. Where's monsters in the real world? All right, let's all talk at the same time. That works. <laughs> well, mine was actually relevant campaign. So was Mijo's. Yeah, we'll never know either. <laughs> you all exit the sewers. Congratulations, you've solved my floon puzzle. <laughs> we did it fairly well, if, if I do say so myself. Let's go yeah. ahead and get Anton to it. I mean, Please. I can't say you didn't do it well when you beat a beyond deadly encounter. As and level we fucking self-killed those goblins. Yeah. I don't care about that. That's nothing compared to what you just did. <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys... You guys are so proud of yourselves, but you realize what this means, right? That We're you know, screwed. It's gonna get worse. You're <laughs> gonna be after us. You've royally pissed off the Xanathar. <laughs> but they don't know who we are. It's fine. Oh, they do. They always know. <laughs> nah. Who knows what they know? One, there's one goblin that's just watching the whole time. Jerking <laughs> off in the corner. See, because yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> there was a this... Xanathar bandit that lived in the Yawning Portal encounter. But he has no idea who and kill everybody. There's ways to find out. Plus, there are other people still alive in that dungeon. I'm sure there are. Well, we let's see. I'll explore everything. How hard is it to identify a band of cat, dude in a plague <laughs> monster cat, a little girl, a huge fucking dude with <laughs> fucking soul, and a little fucking tiny half fling bitch? When two of them are unconscious and being dragged through the streets. That's that is a good hey, hey, point. Once we get to the street <laughs> level, I'm gonna yell, TAXI! Roll a percentile. Roll a percentile. <laughs> I can get that. Uh, these. Okay. The fast taxi appears. Um, it quickly comes to a stop in front of you and the door opens, ready for you to enter. Alright, um, all of us can fit in it, right? Probably. It right. might be uncomfortable. Well, it's designed we for four people. people. We can just sit on our unconscious people. You can. <laughs> we'll do that. Heck, yeah. All right. And then and the it clo the door closes and the um it immediately takes off, not even knowing where you're going. A small window on the right side opens. You can see the, the buildings flying past like you're going hundreds of miles per hour. And a head drips down and says, Hey, where are you guys going? You start hearing screams of people fussing as the <laughs> rides back and forth on the road. Okay, I will I will say in a very manly voice, Hounds Hall. <coughs> Hounds Hall? Is that... That's not a place. Yeah, it is. Hounds Hall? That's right. Helms Hall. Helms Hall. Okay. Why'd you get a taxi for this? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not fucking dragging people that far. Right. It takes you five seconds. Hey, good. How much money do I owe? Four nibs. Okay, cool. Four nibs done. And it Yo, this drives taxi away. awesome. And it drives away faster than the wind. I'm gonna drag our unconscious people into the fucking train. Yeah. Okay. Let's get going. <laughs> and you enter Helms Hall. Angry's playing into character pretty well. Yeah. I'm glad somebody Very appreciated life. that. Very lifelike. All right. This is not. We don't really have to role play the hall. Um. What's your goal? To heal yeah, our party members. Keep the orc not healed. 
So that way we can take them back to the yawning portal. All right. They're going to... Uh, they can heal Cade and basically tell you there's nothing physically wrong with him. Okay. Um, Cade, you're Where is my orb? <laughs> Cade's awake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like slowly pull it out of my deck. In the eyeball? I mean, yes. I picked um, it up so that way you wouldn't lose it. Oh, they charge you. you five gold pieces for healing Cade. Now, what and, about can they not heal? Anton? I'm getting to that. Okay. Just <laughs> make sure you charge someone, charge the five gold pieces. Done. I did it. All right. Anton, um,. They tell you um, his effect is a very is a lot stronger magical effect that is binding his intelligence. It has torn it from him. Um, I'm searching up a spell. They have the ability to restore it, but it's not cheap. How much are we talking? How much are we talking? When in doubt, take it uh, from me. 100 gold pieces. Oof. Jesus. I'll look at my pouch and look at Antoine and give them the 100 gold pieces. They cast Got Greater it. Restoration on Anton to return his ability scores to what they once were. <sighs> and Anton wakes up from his slumber. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank I'm you look guys. Super fucking disgruntled at my now basically empty fucking bag of gold. Seriously. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I don't hurt anything, actually. All you're gonna yeah, hear just... is crying coming from behind my mask. <laughs> In like several, <laughs> it'll go from like one stage of like a child crying to like an old lady crying to an adult man crying. Am I back at full hit points? Yes. Nice. You're all better, buddy. <laughs> um, Anton says, uh, I must have uh, drank in too much. Sorry about that. He assumed he just blacked out or something. Um, You're free to assume that. It's up to you. Of how much yeah. you actually remembered. Uh, you would have your memories if you choose to. Uh, they could be regressed if you wish. <laughs> Um, the memories yeah, probably. of when he was at one intelligence, though they'd be very quick and faded. Hazy. Yeah, hazy. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to the Yawning Portal. Yep, I'm gonna... Hold on, real fast, is there anyone that's like, has a gut wound or anything that I can heal with five gold pieces if there's someone crying over them? There's a lot of people. <laughs> Is there anyone that looks like they're poor enough to not be able to afford the healing but need the healing? There's a couple, yeah. There's one where the guy is literally in rags. He's wearing potato bags for clothes. Okay. I'm going to go get him. I'm going to walk up to him and I'm just going to hand him three gold pieces. All right. They uh, begin healing that creature. Uh, gain inspiration. All right, and you guys head back to the Yawning Portal. Yeah, we do. I sure do. Boink. Um, do you guys walk or you take a cab? Cab, just because I'm dragging a dude. Or Roll a percentile. Fuck. We'll get the fucking slow one. Watch. Fast cab. Okay. Four nibs. Four nibs. You get there in 20 minutes. Or less than that. You get there in five minutes. <laughs> I paid the nibs. All right. And you're in the Yawning Portal. Volo is sitting alone. All right, so. 
When you come in, you see Volo anxiously waiting, um, sitting alone in one of the tables in the far corner. He springs up and runs to embrace the characters and his friend as soon as he sees them. Um, he then turns to you guys with a rather sheepish look on his face and says, I confess that I have but few coins to spare at the moment. But never let it be said that Volo renegades on a promise. Allow me to present something much, much more valuable. He holds out a scroll tube to you guys. And he says, The deed to a remarkable property here in Waterdeep. We'll need a magistrate to witness the transfer of ownership, and I'll arrange for that meeting with one of you, uh, with one, after you've inspected the estate and deemed it satisfactory. Um, I will grab the deed, and I will look at it. Do I know the property? No, it's not in the dock ward. It's not in the dock ward? I don't know the property anywhere in this. You can roll in history. You do know. Yeah, he knows. Uh, you know this is the property for Troll Skull Manor, a very famous, very old. It's not very famous. It's commonly known an an old building in Waterdeep that used to be a tavern. Okay. Uh, you know it's it says on the documents as well, but it's in the North Ward in Troll Skull Alley. Which I have now activated on the map so you guys know where Trollskull Alley is. I'll do okay. that as well. Cool. It's not very central, but not bad. The North Ward is a rather rich location. There's a lot of rich people nearby. Ooh, much better. This it's like a... a it is a middle-class white neighborhood. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. And Volo says, um, "I'll I'll let you guys oh, look wait, around." I have some questions. Uh, uh, I was wondering, why would they want to kidnap your friend here and torture him in the underground cave here? There. You already, you already had the answers to that from Renair. Volo doesn't right, know. Do. <laughs> okay. Never oh. Mind. Can I can I point to Volo and say book? Would I know that he wrote a guide to monsters? Is he yes, famous for that? Yes, Volo is very famous. Okay, can <laughs> I point to him and say book? And then like motion for him to give me a book and point <laughs> to him. I want one of his guides to monsters. <laughs> a signed copy. Uh, roll a charisma or a persuasion. <laughs> Give me that book, boy. <laughs> this is. Oh, are you a fan? Sure. He uh, uh, reaches into a bag at his side and pulls up a large volume called Volo's Guide to Monsters. Flips open the first page, uh, signs his name on it, and hands it to you. All right, I'll nod and put it in my back. back. Book get boys. Yeah, dude, mm -hmm. your fucking book. Volo's famous as shit. You gonna sell that for gold? You guys can feel free to check out the property, and I will contact you when I get the magistrate appointed. All right, thank you. All right. Yep. Uh -oh. So, we'll head to the North Ward. Yep. Uh, actually, I would like to stay the night at the inn. Okay. So, yeah, I would also like a long rest. We can stay here for now. Um, so, you guys, you guys level up. Boy, nice. Uh, Should we do that real quick or do it later? Yeah, we'll do that later. But you are now level two. Score. So we got to so get time to dual class. You're Sorry, what now? Yeah, fighter Rogue, man. Who the fuck multi-class is at level two? Fighter. <laughs> You're crazy. Nah. <laughs> I want those, uh... Whatever, class abilities. I don't know. I'm oh, still okay. 
Yeah, the only people who multi-class at level 1 is clerics. Because <laughs> they get their subclass up front. Awesome. Can I get those copper, like, made into silvers so I don't have 250 copper? <laughs> I've told you guys this before. You can actively change your currencies from gold, silver, and copper. Oh, okay. It's if you want to change it to platinum that you have to go see someone. Yeah, because it's special. Yeah, I would, I would rather take the first level in fighter than get cunning action. Cunning action's like the best thing. I know, but I'm just getting into combat right now. Not You're crazy. Right now. You know the supplement doesn't have very much combat. Exactly. <laughs> then why? <laughs> Which is why I'm glad I chose. You know, what else can I multi-class in now that I'm thinking about it? I could be a wizard. I don't think I you could, have I the intelligence. Wizard and rogue? You don't, actually, you do have the intelligence I to be a wizard. I do have the for a wizard. <laughs> Ranger, I could be a monk. We could duel monk, me, <laughs> I, mean, I, I was could, thinking about being part ranger, part rogue. I could become a blood hunter. <laughs> I'll just be a barbarian, thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll no end this. We'll end the session on a long rest at the yawning portal. Nice. And the next session will start with Troll Skull Alley. Good stuff, guys. Are we still Good session up for next week, though. Like, yeah, this yeah, is spontaneous. We can still do it next week. Next week we'll still be on regular schedule. Nice. Let's go. That was surprisingly clean, guys. We only had that two was... almost die. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and we took on a person fucking significantly if, stronger. If you guys, if you guys got unlucky enough that Cade and Anton missed their attacks, their last attacks on that Nidhalor, oh, we've been fucked. Four of you guys would have just been insta killed. <laughs> It would have been everybody but Mijo, because Mijo was behind her, so she would have had to mind blast everyone else. <laughs> so, Mijo had the chance to save everybody. No, you wouldn't have had a chance. She would just mind blast everyone else, and you would watch as all of your friends die. <laughs> <laughs> In one fell sweep. And they wouldn't be <laughs> unconscious, because that's double most of our hit points. Yeah, for sure. If you made the save, it would be double your hit points. So it would just be four of you guys would die and your brains would explode. We're all new characters. <laughs> well, fellas, we we made a gutsy move and it paid off. So yeah, it's what's nice. supposed to happen is that Nihilor is supposed to use the orb to activate the portal and run away while you guys are left to fight Groomshar and the Intellect of Our. <laughs> That's not, not what happened. Was there a cheap way to get his intellect back? No, the only way was greater restoration. Okay, so I, the, basically you gave me the money <laughs> to heal him. That money was randomly generated. I thought a Greater Restoration was going to be more. I didn't think you guys have enough. So what did you expect us to do until he got back? <laughs> I could have made a temporary character. Bye, and Bye, Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting to be catatonic for a few sessions. Well, all right, Ben. You get to play your character. I'm very happy about this. I'm very. It's happy better about how this turned out. It is better than what would have happened if you didn't kill the intellect of our before his next turn. Because what would have happened then is the intellect of our would have become um, Anton. Yeah. And Anton would come back to life. He'd be himself, have his full memories and everything, except he would now have an undying dedication to the Xanathar. That's and he would yeah. be the character gone. And he would he would have been a Xanathar spy from then on out. Then we wouldn't have done about it. I mean, you would have seen the intellect of our disappear, and then Anton wake up, which would be your only hint. Um, Anton, you would have gone buffs if that happened. Uh, you would become lawful evil. You would nice. Uh, you would be able. You would gain the ability to. Um, 
you would know how to speak deep speech, and you would be able to use telepathy within 120 feet. That would have been sick. And you would have an un you would have to follow the Xanathar's every bending will and desire. <laughs> Slightly less sick, but I'm still down. Nope, not actually <laughs> down. That would that's what would have happened if you guys didn't kill the intellect devourer when you did. That's good. Freaking tiny brain man. Yeah. I forgot the my other, name already for him. In my other party, um Nihilor did escape and somebody tried to chase Nihilor into the portal. Oh dear. Um, which is a one way portal. <laughs> they didn't make it because the intellect of our crit them and killed them. <laughs> they just dropped that. Um, <laughs> we but, had so we have an out. ongoing joke about the person because the person has died three times is the tabaxi <laughs> of their party. So we say a tabaxi is going through their nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, who needs to roll for hit points? Oh, I do. Okay. I, to level up. I need to level up yet, but Austin. I'm still deciding if really? I want to take a point in fighter. Are you something. fucking kidding me? What? Did I you rolled just... a 1d8. Okay. So. Um, Def, you're on fixed hit points. You don't roll for hit points. Oh, oh shit, I am. I, I forgot about that. Yes! You know what? Yeah, that's why I, I, that's why I said, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Hangry. <laughs> I don't think you've ever rolled poorly for hit points. <laughs> Jared, stop it. Boom. I'm a rogue druid now, guys. Good job. I'm proud of you. You need to roll a druid hit point. Hit die. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So One I D8. Think is a, it's a D8. Hey. Two. Hey, nice roll, Ben. I appreciate uh. this. That <laughs> is <isn't>... two. <laughs> that is not. That is how I level up. Ha. Huh. Is everyone on manual except Death? Yeah. I'm not on manual. Then why did you roll hit points? Oh wait, what? <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh, I am on hit. Manual is roll? I am on fixed. But manual, want... you roll. Fixed, you do not. Yes, I'm on manual, not fixed. I'm so okay. I was confused. Oh. That was five. I'll just check the rest of you idiots. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm trying ben to is fixed. Yeah, I'm trying to switch that though. I don't You can't switch it. We decided yeah. that at the beginning and I told you guys you would not be able to switch it ever. Yeah. Or I I didn't oh, get Hank. to tell you oh, that because wow. you didn't have your character made. Um yeah. yeah, if you want to switch, you do it now. Um Thank you can you. never switch it again. Heard that. Alright, so I can know two cantrips and four works. spells. Why didn't I have this before? On a hit, the target takes 3d10 necrotic damage. You got a second healer. Yeah, second level cantrip, or second level clerics get their channel divinity. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, so I think that session went decent. <laughs> It was a lot yeah, better was, than the first session. <laughs> that was the exact opposite of the first session. You guys still Wait. suck at getting clues, but <laughs> you did I better. Mean, I we're, tried we're really this combat thing. I tried, and then I just gave up halfway through because I couldn't. I couldn't remember the thing's name. I can know two cantrips. Ooh. Um, make sure your homebrew is active for spells, because there are some spells. If you're a druid, yes, you don't have a, you won't have access to um, contract. I'll have to get it because I've seen some cool, some cool druid spells in the campaign I'm listening to, and I'll have to run them by you. 
I will not accept any of them. We'll see. Uh, the only person who can get contract spell now is Cade. Or no, I took it away from Sorcerers. So, I can get it. Yeah, Anne's the only one who can get Cade's it. The sorcerer? Oh, that's right. Cade went Sorcerer, not Wizard. <laughs> Also, Killbutt, I'm pretty sure we did um, 